Over the weekend, Donald Trump attended the memorial service for Lynette Hardway, a.k.a. Diamond, from the conservative duo Diamond and Silk. And I'm sure that you're not going to be very surprised to learn that his eulogy was deeply, deeply inappropriate. This was a friend, but of course, he predictably made it about himself. And he even arguably insulted Silk, who was Diamond's best friend. Let's listen. President Trump. I just want to say thank you so much for believing in Diamond and Silk. He treated us just like Laura. He treated us just like the other children. Eric, uh, Don Jr., Tiffany. He treated us just like when we came around, when Diamond and Silk came around, it was like we was part of the family. You know, the world has lost one of its brightest stars real star, but I see that uh, we have another star who is equal to, but she stepped up and she is different. I'm, I'm serious. I thought I knew them both. I didn't. I knew, I knew Diamond, but I didn't know Silk at all. I just learned about Silk. You're fantastic. I can't believe he actually said that. This man actually had the audacity to say, I don't know who Silk is. I just learned about Silk after she said that he welcomed them as if they were a member of the family, one of his kids. Look, if ever there was a time to keep something to yourself, that would have been it right there. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you've never had to give a eulogy, that's where you talk about the person who passed away. You can share a story about their life, your relationship with them, a special moment. But Trump, of course, decided to use that opportunity to attack Democrats because, of course... How do you have open borders where millions and millions of people are being led into our country and taking so much away from our country? It's so hard to fix that. You know, things we can fix inflation. We can fix so much of what's been damaged over the last two years. They allowed their prisons to be emptied out into the United States of America. They allowed their mental institutions to be emptied out. Inflation was caused by energy. Yeah. And because it's Donald Trump, he also found a way to make it about himself, specifically how he's the victim. So he talked about how the election was stolen from him in 2020 at this eulogy for his friend. How do we stop the cheating? How do we stop it where you get more votes, but you still don't win? And the answer is the Republicans have to get tougher. The top people have to get tougher. And and you have to really swamp them. There's a level at which even they can't produce. And so if you win big enough, you're going to get there. And then once we're there, we're going to straighten it all out and get it back to where it was. But I just again, I just have to remind you all that he's saying this during a eulogy. I just don't know what to even say about that. It's not like I'm surprised that Donald Trump would even turn a funeral into something about himself and how he's actually the victim, but I just, I, wow, <laughs> what, what do you even say to that? Now, there was a moment where it got downright insulting because he decided to reference how long the memorial service was and how he was there longer than he expected. He actually said this, like, I'm not making this up. Listen. I don't believe, you know, they told me I said, give me a little time, because I have a lot of people waiting for me back in a place called Palm Beach, Florida. They said, give me a little time. What do you think it'll take? Oh, about 15, 20 minutes, sir, in and out. I said, well, it can take longer. This is a little longer than 15 minutes, right? Okay, I take it back. If ever there was a moment to keep something to yourself, that right there was definitely the moment to keep it to yourself. If you're thinking, hmm, man, this is going on longer than I expected, just don't, don't say that. Don't say it, Trump. Don't say it. He said it. He actually said that. Again, at a eulogy. I have to keep reminding myself that he's speaking at a memorial service because you, you tend to kind of lose track of like what he's saying. You can you can be immersed in, as if he's speaking at a political rally. But no, he, he's, he's giving a eulogy right there. Now, to be fair, Donald Trump wasn't the only one who kind of hijacked this memorial service for his own political purposes because Diamond's best friend, Silk, also decided to spread a conspiracy theory about her best friend's death. And she was presumably suggesting that Diamond died from the COVID vaccine. But there's questions about that because Diamond and Silk were pretty vocally 
anti-vax and they were also COVID truthers. So for her to die from a vaccine, possibly that she didn't take is a little bit weird. Nonetheless, let's listen. As soon as Diamond hung up the phone, she said to me, I can't breathe. It was suddenly out of nowhere and no warning. I got her to the kitchen table, opened up the back door so that she can get some air. And each breath was less and less and less until her eyes became a stare. My husband and I followed the 911 instructions uh, 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 from the lady. We laid her, like they told us to lay her flat. They said do CPR and it was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. My husband and I alternated and kept going and going and going until the emergency truck came in, came into the, the yard and the EMS came into the house. They did everything that they could. So what I wanna say to everybody is don't you dare call me a conspiracy theorist because I saw it happen. I saw how it happened. I was there when it happened and it happened suddenly. I want America to wake up and pay attention. Something ain't right. It's time to investigate what's really going on here and get some answers to why are people falling dead suddenly. Now, to be clear, we don't know what the actual cause of death was for Lynette Hardway, but Silk right there is implying heavily so that she died because of the COVID vaccine, so much so that a member of Congress wants to take action as a result of that video. So Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example, responded to that video saying, I demand an immediate investigation into COVID vaccines and the dramatic increase of people dying suddenly. This can no longer be ignored and is not political. Now, a logical question to ask was, was she even vaccinated? Because she claimed that she wasn't. But according to Silk, that's not the right question to ask. Let's watch. Instead of asking, if Americans are vaxxed or unvaxxed, the real question to ask is, are Americans being poisoned? In the wild, when they want to depopulate and sterilize a large group of animals, they usually inject one animal. And then that one animal infect the rest of the animals. So technically, and according to the science, it doesn't matter if you're vaxxed or not. As long as the gain of function allows one injected person to transfer and affect another person, and that person affect another person, eventually everyone will be affected in one way or the other. So in other words, she wasn't vaccinated, but vaccinated people around her infected her with their vaccine germs, which then caused her to die. Okay, now you're probably wondering, well, what if she just got COVID and died because she wasn't vaccinated? Well, that's not something that you should be asking because when somebody did point this out or suggest that perhaps Diamond died of COVID-19, well, Silk actually threatened to sue them for defamation. So not something you want to ask. But in truth, we really don't know why she died. Now, for more details, we go to Newsweek, who reports claims that Hardaway had been hospitalized in November fueled speculation online that she had died of COVID. Their joint Twitter account asked fans to pray for Diamond on November 26th. However, it has since attacked claims she died of the virus, calling for retractions. The sisters had often used their platform to question COVID vaccine policy, specifically Joe Biden's vaccine mandate, as well as the efficacy of the jab. They were also removed from Fox News's list of contributors for their claims about the vaccine, according to the Associated Press, which prompted their move to Newsmax, a far-right cable news channel, where they hosted a talk show. So there you have it. I can't help but feel bad that her memorial service was essentially hijacked by political opportunists and grifters who just want to use that event to 
promote either themselves or some weird conspiracy theory. But honestly, who am I kidding? This is probably exactly what Diamond wanted. She wanted this to be a political stunt. That's kind of what she did. So I don't know what to say. It was still weird, nevertheless, to see Donald Trump complain about the 2020 election being stolen and Silk, her main ally, essentially concocting a, a conspiracy theory about her death. It's still weird to see a memorial service take that turn. But either way, she's gone now, and I wish her family peace. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.